The Winchester Mystery House, the house built by Spirit, San Jose, America. The Winchester Mystery House is a result of a mad woman, Sarah Winchester, the widow of a gun magnate, William Wirt. After their marriage and having a baby girl, that baby died in her sex week. Then, Sarah's husband also died in the year 1881. As a result of that, she consulted with a climbing that she was being haunted by the spirits of all those who had ever been killed by a Winchester's rifle. A climb that make her after that to build that mystery house. After her husband's death in 1881, Sarah's Winchester inherited more than 20.5 million. She felt loneliness. And then, she left her house in New Haven and traveled to west of America and St. Jose lived there with her niece, Frances Marriott. In 1884, she purchased an unfinished farmhouse in the Santa Clara Valley and began building the mystery mansion. The house continued to grow and by the year 19, Oh, 06 it had reached a towering seven stories tall. Sarah continued her occupancy and expansion of the house, living in sadness, solitude, with no one other than her niece, her servants, the workmen, and of course the spirits. On September 4, 1922, after a conference session with the spirits and the Sianke room, Sarah went to her bedroom. For the night, she died in her sleep at the age of 83. She left all of her possessions to her niece, Frances Marriott, who had been handling most of Sarah's business affairs for some time. Her niece then took everything she wanted and sold the rest in a private auction. As supposedly, took six trucks working eight hours a day for six weeks to remove all of the furniture from the home. The house then was sold at auction to a local invest for over 135000 and subsequently leased for 10 years to John and Mine Brown who purchased the house. In February 1923, after five months, Winchester's this the house was open to the public with mine, proud as the first tour guide. There are roughly 160 rooms, remind of 600 rooms which were built, including 40 bedrooms, two ball rooms, one completed and one unfinished, as well as 47 fireplaces, over 10,000 bands of glass, 17 chimneys, which evidence of two others, two basements and three elevators. It has gold and silver calendars and hand inlaid parquet floors and trim. There are doors and stairways that lead nowhere and a vast array of colors and materials. Among the most remarkable features of the house are the parquet flower. You will be astonished when you know that only one craftsman worked day and night for 30 years doing nothing but installing, building, and tearing up the floors. They are made of mahogany, rosewood, teak, marble, oak, and white ash, arranged in an impressive mosaics. The mansion also contained a plenty of light sources from gas jets and the countless candles to electric light bulbs. Before the 1906 earthquake, the house had been seven stories high, but today it is only four stories. Today the home is owned by Winchester Investments, a privately held company representing the descendants of John and Mayim Prowen. The home retains unique touches that reflect Mrs. Winchester's beliefs and her reported preoccupations with avoiding bad spirits. That belief inspired her to the way the house should be built. 
that Winchester may have been trying to confuse evil spirits. So we find the stairs that lead to the ceiling, doors that go nowhere, and that open onto walls, and the chimneys that stop just short of the roof. The number 13 and the spider web motifs, which carried a special significance for her, occur throughout the house. For example, an expensive imported calendar that originally had 12 candle holders was altered to accommodate 13 candles. Wall closes hooks are in multiples of 13, and a spider web pattern stained glass window contains 13 colored stone. The sanks drain covers also have 13 holes, and tribute the house's current Groundskeepers have created a tapestry tree shaped like the number 13. Also, every Friday, the 13th, the large bell on the property is rung 13 times at 1,300 hours, and tribute to Winchester.